Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. It is Monday, the kickoff day for the work week. Um, you know, the beginning of the week for me is Sunday, actually, but the beginning of the work week, where I actually go to work, <laughs> is uh, Monday. Monday. So here we are. In the morning, it's bright and shiny. It's already 80-something degrees. My wife said it's supposed to be like about 100 today. And uh, I'm excited. I mean, I, I am excited. You know, um, <clears throat> this is the week. This is the week for me and my family. Uh, we've got some new opportunities, new possibilities coming up. And I mean, you guys know from my other videos that, you know, we've been working on some different things as far as uh, oh, finding a house uh, for us to live, you know, um, because we were, we were given a little bit of a time crunch from our, our current landlord. And so we're about to get some good news this week, probably today, um, on what's going to happen. What is going to happen? You know, and, and it's funny. You know, mind you, I, I don't know anything yet. I don't know anything yet. But the, the title of today's video is, Is Your Mind Prepped? for new possibilities. You know, it's, it's so often, um, you know, in, in my job, you know, as a counselor, I see a lot of people that are preppers in their consciousness, but they're prepped for negativity. They're prepped for failure. They're prepped for disaster. They're, they're prepped for fear. They're prepped to lose. And, you know, I, I just think about that with my life. Growing up, how, you know, because I've not, I've not always been positive. I, you know, this is, I've gotten more and more positive over the, over the years because I practice this. I practice faith. I practice being about new possibilities. And it doesn't mean that bad things won't happen. It just means that I'm prepared. I'm prepared to turn water into wine. I'm prepared to turn lemon into lemonades. I'm prepared to make the best out of every opportunity that God puts in front of me. And with that mindset, I'm able to rediscover and unravel the mystery of my misery and pull out a miracle because it's there. I think I think so many times in our mind that we're so attuned to negativity that we don't see the buried treasure within within our troubles. And that's a problem. That is a problem. You know when I look at black people in 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 America, you know, and you know, everything from slavery to, you know, segregation to um, the, the housing. I mean, to so many different areas that um, have been unfair, period, period. You know, um, I look at that and I also see the flip side of dealing with that adversity. And this can apply to, you know, anybody, but, you know, because I'm black, I'm talking about black people. <laughs> but, um in dealing with adversity and being able to push through, work through, and overcome has created strength of character, strength of will, strength of faith. I mean, I, you know, I've been watching um, a lot of, of uh, black-centered movies lately on, on, uh, on Netflix and uh, Prime Video. Um, and I think the last one I watched was Harriet Tubman. And, you know, and I know there's, a, you know, some dramatization to it. You know, but still, I mean, it was a powerful show about the strength of this woman persevering. And, and you can't watch that and not feel the strength of her faith and of her character. And when I look at that, when I look at the people that God has blessed me in my life, white, black, Asian, Hispanic, 
all the great heroes and heroines in my life that have been examples to me, none of them have been blessed with a silver spoon where they've had a, 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 a cotton candy lifestyle. Every last person that I look up to has had extreme adversity to overcome. And that's the blessing within the curse that we so often miss because we're so focused. Our, our, we've, we are victims of believing our own our own issue. We've identified with our troubles to make it part of our identity. I have had addiction problems in my past. Still struggle with some, okay? Not not drugs or alcohol, but you know, I've got other addictions. Food, lust, I mean, I've got other addictions that I still need to work on, but I am not simply an addict. I am not simply a, a man that struggles with donuts. <laughs> There's a lot more to me. There are all kinds of strengths and miracles and greatness within. So often we say, well, I'm not perfect. But when we say that, we say that with a negative twist to it. You know, because I believe we're perfect in our flaws. Because who would want to look up to somebody who's always had it good? who's always done the right thing, who's always been on top of their game. We wouldn't even watch movies like that. I want to see the guy that ate dirt and then learned how to plant and make something out of the dirt. I want to be one of those people. So it's funny. So I've been, I've been working with this, this new guy. Um, he's teaching me Pramaga. And... Um, <laughs> Friday was my first day, and you know it, it was it was it was it was rough for your boy. It was rough. Uh, I was pouring sweat, and that was even before we started to spar. <laughs> and um, I was I'm, I'm always nervous when I'm working out with a new trainer because I know me, I know me, and I will push myself out of ego and not common sense, and it will call I will cause myself to go beyond my physical capabilities and cause myself harm. But I did good. You know, um, I was mindful of my limits and, and I don't want to work within my limits, but I want to gradually overcome my limits and I want to be a limit breaker. So at the end of us working out and I'm, I am sucking wind like if, <laughs> You, you, man, I'm telling you, it, it was, it was, I, it was the heat. I'm sparring, I'm dancing around, and you know, your boy can't only dance for maybe 30 minutes, 30 seconds. That's a 30 minutes. <laughs> and uh, whoo, by the by the time we were done, you know, he gave me some encouragement. He said, you know, you're quicker than you than than, than I thought you were. Um, but what really, you know, he said he was impressed with was it was my will. And, and he said, you don't quit. And I was like, no, I, I don't quit. I don't quit. I may, I may have to you know, rest for a second, but, but I'll be like, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> but I'm coming back. And I got to give credit to the, to the people God has put in my life that have taught me to keep getting, to keep getting, to, to get back up. Keep getting back up. <laughs> And I look, and, and the harder the struggle, the more excited I get because I know what's coming out of it. <clears throat> At the very least, I'll be stronger. And so when I think about, you know, the topic, you know, are you prepped for new possibilities? You got to ask yourself. What is in my consciousness? Am I just prepared to fail? Because here's the problem. If I'm, if I'm attuned to failure, 
what happens when I win? And I'll tell you, when you are not prepared to overcome and you accidentally do overcome, you will lose it. You will sabotage yourself because you are so unfamiliar with success, unfamiliar with the new possibility of progress that you will you will jack it up. <clears throat> so today is Monday. And today is the day we, we have to get our mind right. I start on Sunday, get my mind right. But, you know, whatever, whatever. Get your mind right today for miracles to happen, for you being a miracle. And watch what happens. Okay? So I love you guys. And we're going to have a great day. We're going to have a great week this week, okay? I'll keep you guys posted. Peace.